I heard Reinhard Bonke. I saw him somewhere saying something last week. He said, God is not a demo Democrat. De de a de a Democrat. Give him a hand. He's not a Democrat. <laughs> now, I, I speak to the political guys. We always think that the majority is right, so we vote in the majority. We go do what the majority says. But not so with God. With God, the minority is the right ones. What? How can it be? I will prove it. Must I prove it to you? There were many people in Israel, and in, 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 uh, many Jews, they're traveling through the desert. Most of them argued in unbelief and stubbornness, but only two people of that generation had faith. Two! Only two? Who was right? All the Jews or only that two? Say for instance, they had an election. Should they go into the promised land? Would God be? Would that election would vote, vote it in God and his will? Say to God, so God is not a Democrat. He's the king of kings. Give him a hand. Amen. He hates unbelief. Only two people of that whole generation had faith. And only those two people entered the promised land. They argued again to man Moses. They thought that God was a Democrat. Your God is not a Democrat at all. Only his will count. And it's not all people that seek after his will. The whole world is in the sway of the wicked one. Amen. The gate is narrow and the road is narrow. And Jesus said, few are those who find it. So we got an election. We elect some party in. We are 100% sure, sure this is the right party. If Jesus said there is few on the narrow road and many on the broad road, how can the voting of people be correct? It cannot be. It's impossible. Now you're confused. <laughs> Pastor, should we vote? Yes, you should vote, please. I mean, if you don't vote, I will pray for you to convict you that you will vote. I mean, but before you vote, ask Jesus for a change. Who do you want me to vote for? I believe in God's investment in me. And that is the Spirit's investment. And the Spirit's investment is nothing else but His Word. The Spirit's investment cannot be anything outside of His Word. Because God is not, not the double-minded God. And if He said something, He said it. His Word is His honor. God's Word is His honor, not like people. He's not a liar. And Jesus said, it's better, it will be easier for the whole, for the heavens and the earth to pass away than one yacht of my word will pass away. Not one word, not even a yacht, which is the smallest letter of the Hebrew alphabet, will pass away from my word. It will, it will be easier for the heavens and the earth to pass away. Hallelujah. So God will not, it's not making up stories. He's not changing his mind every now and then. He's not saying, oh, in these circumstances, you can do that. But in that circumstances, you can do a different thing. His word is his word, and his word is our only standard. Amen. Pray, Lord God of heaven, I want to be in your spirit. I will walk according to your spirit. I want to listen to your voice. I never want to go with the masses. I know you're not a Democrat, but you're the God of heaven. You're not a president, and you're not a political party, but you are the king of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. The world's got governments. Jesus got a kingdom. Give him a hand for his kingdom. <laughs> Hallelujah. The world got presidents. Jesus is not a president because a president is elected by the masses. Which are never correct according to heaven. The Jesus they crucified, they didn't want him as the president of the Jews, 
when Pilate mockingly wrote on top of the cross, king of the Jews, they were angry. The masses rejected the king of glory. So you go and vote, and you say, oh, we voted. We voted, so now God's will is going to be done. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. The masses is never correct. So voting democratically is believing the masses and going along with the masses. What should I say? What do I say? Say tonight you should not vote. Go and vote. But I say to you, for a change, ask God what you should vote. 